Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to look at the question longest palindromic subsequence. So the question is given a string a g b d b a find the longest palindromic subsequence inside the string. So in this case the longest palindromic subsequence is of length 5 and the string is subsequence is a b d b a a b d b a. Notice how this is a palindrome and notice how this is not continuous in the original string. If remember this question is different from longest palindromic substring where the where the characters need should be continuous. So the longest palindromic substring here will be b d and b whose length is 3 but we are looking for longest palindromic subsequence whose length is 5 so the characters need not be continuous in the original string. So how do we solve this problem? Yes, we will use dynamic programming to solve this question. So I have a two-dimensional matrix here of the same length as the original string, five, six cross six matrix here. So now we are going to fill up this matrix and we'll have the final result right here. So let's see how this works. Let's start with L is equal to one. When I say L is equal to one, when I'm just considering one character at a time. So if I only had a string of length one, and that string was a, what is the longest palindromic subsequence I can have of which is of length once and that goes at 0 and 0. If I had a string of character length 1 and that string was g, the longest palindromic subsequence I could have is of length 1. So 2 and 2 is 1, 1, 1, 1. Again 5 and 5 means a string starts at 5 and ends at 5 and this is the character and the longest palindromic subsequence it will be of length 1. So if let's move on to length two. So now I'm considering two characters at a time in the original string. So if I had this string and I considered these two characters together, what is the longest palindromic subsequence I can have between A and G? Since these guys are not same, the longest palindromic subsequence here will be of length one again. So zero and one, zero and one, this will fill up this particular cell. So that's one. Now let's have now let's consider these two guys together. Again, since they are not same, we fill one and two with one. One and two is one. B and D are not same, so two and three is one. What means is that if between two and three, the longest palindromic subsequence you can get is of length one. Similarly, four, 3 and 4 is not same, so we'll be again 3 and 4 will be filled with 1, and 4 and 5 will be filled with 1. Alright, let's move L is equal to 3. So basically now we are looking three characters at a time in the original string. Here again, A is not same as B. So the longest palindromic subsequence here will be the max of this two or this two. So let's see A, G and B. So the longest palindromic subsequence will either be the max of these two, whatever is the longest palindromic subsequence here, or this two. In this case, both of them are one, so it doesn't matter. So zero to two is max of these two, which is one. All right, now let's see. Now we will consider these three. Again, they are not same. So the max will be max of either one, two, and two, three. So we are filling one, two, three. So this will be the max of this or this. So that's one. Similarly, two to four. Now here, they are same. Let's see how it's different. Now this B is same as this B. So the max, the longest palindromic subsequence will be of length two. This two is coming from these two Bs plus the longest palindromic subsequence at point, at point three and three, which is three and three is one. So the long three and three is one. So one. So that's three. So when B, when two and four are same, so the longest palindromic subsequence would be one plus two. So three. Now let's have D and A. Since D and A are different, so the longest palindromic subsequence will be max of this or this. So one max of one or one. So that's so three and five. One or one is one. All right. Now we'll have L is equal to 4. Okay, so now we start again from 0, 2, 3. 
Since A and D are not same, the longest palindromic subsequence will be the max of 0 to 2 or 1 to 3. So 0 to 3 are the max of these two. So again, it's 1. Let's move on. Since G and B are not same again, the max here, 1 to 4, will be max of this or this. So max of this or this, so 3. So max of this part or this part. Now we'll have these two guys. So since these guys are not same again, so 2 and 5 will be max of this or this, so 3. Max of this part or this part, so 3. All right, let's move L is equal to 5. So we are considering this 5. Again, A is not same as B, so the max, the longest palindrome subsequence between A to B will be max of this size or this size. So basically, here, max of this or this, so that's 3. Now let's have this between this. Since these guys are different, the longest palindrome subsequence between 1 to 5 will be max of this or this. So it doesn't matter any of them, so 3. All right, now let's look at L is 6. So now we are considering the entire string. Since A and A are same, the longest palindrome subsequence will be 2. This 2 is coming from both the A's plus the longest between 1 and 4. So longest between 1 and 4 is 3 plus this 2, so 5. So if, so if we had a string A, B, A, G, B, D, B, A, the longest palindrome subsequence will be of length 5. If someone asks you what is that longest palindrome subsequence, so you can get this answer from looking at this matrix. So we'll start from here. We know that this 5 is coming from this guy. So whatever is at 0 and whatever is at 5 will be the answer. So A is at the 0 and A is at 5, so they are in the answer. And we move to 3. This 3 here is coming from here, so we move down. This 3 here, again, is coming from 1 plus 2. So we know that 2 and 4 is the answer. So 2 is B, 4 is also B. And we move here. This 1 is just coming from here, so we know that 3 and 3 is in the answer, which is B, which is D. So the longest palindrome subsequence will be A, B, D, B, A of the, in the original string. Let me quickly write the formula for this one. If input of i is equal to equal to input of j, t of i j is equal to t of i minus 1, i plus 1, j minus 1 plus 2. So if they are same, we look diagonally across. Else, t of i j is equal to t of max of t of i plus 1 j or t of i j minus 1. If you want the full code for this solution, go to my GitHub link, github.com, mission piece, interview, wiki. And if you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user, Tushar Roy 2525. Thanks for watching this video.